Hello Seekers, welcome to another episode on Puneet's Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Uh, the Sun will make its move out from Scorpio to Sagittarius on 16th of December. Now 16th December uh, is when the Sun is going to be crossing the Gandanta of Jesha Mula boundary and the moment Sun enters Mula Nakshatra, try to understand that this is your soul trying to address the fundamentals. For a for a soul or for a natural Atmakarika, which is Surya, the significator of the soul, the journey from Aries to Scorpio is different and Sagittarius to Pisces is totally different. From Aries, it starts with Mars in Scorpio. It ends all the Martian energy, drops that Martian approach and it has to fulfill its duties in Jeshtha and restart the journey or the restart the search in Mola Nakshatra. Because Mola is a nakshatra that has the tendency to absorb the energy and it is like that soul is being absorbed and sent to another dimension. And this is not a Purva Bhadrapada or not a significator of death, but a significator of transformation. So when a planet like Surya goes into Mola nakshatra and, and for, the, for the entire movement of Surya in, uh, in the sign of Sagittarius, it's a very powerful time for a lot of people. One of the reason is that Sagittarius is fire zodiac sign. It is the Dharma house. So it is like the king doing the Yajna, Maha Yajna. And therefore, when the king is doing the Maha Yajna, other activity stops. So what should you do during this time? This simply means that if you focus on one thing in this particular month, then it will be like a Yajna, like a Maha Yajna that you are doing. Not only it will be like, an, like a karma that improves the Surya, but it also brings your focus in one direction and stops you from being scattered all over the place. Sun, uh, while it is in Sagittarius, will also experience a Martian uh, energy shift around 27th of December because that is the date when Mars will also come to Sagittarius zodiac sign. Uh, one thing is that for the entire duration of Sun transit in Sagittarius, Mars will remain combust. Now, why Mars is important? See, the Sun is the karka of, uh, you can say, kingly things. It is the karka of fearlessness. It is the karka of soul uh, winning. Uh, it is the karka of the kingdom. It is the karka of, uh, of leadership quality. But to have that, you must be a very good student because someone who has not learned well cannot teach well. So, Sun rules the fifth house. It is also the stomach area where the Jatragni or the fire of the digestion is, is there. It is also the solar plexus area. It is also called solar plexus. So there is again a connection with Surya, the sun. So the fifth house is very important because it is also from where the Punya comes, all the limelight comes, all the positivity comes. Why? Because in the Kal Purush, the fifth house is ruled by Leo. Leo is the zodiac sign of Surya. Now, when Sun goes in Sagittarius, what is the fifth house from the Surya? Aries zodiac sign. And Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars will be combust. So, Sun is basically taking control of the fifth house and fifth house Lord kind of surrenders to the Sun. In fact, it is on the ascendant. Uh, I'm not talking about Sagittarius ascendant, but talking with placement for the Surya. It is with the Sun and then the fifth Lord with the Sun shows that sometimes you will you will be put into situations where you will get a lot of learnings which is good so you need to face the situation but create one solid target and keep walking keep moving towards that it is a it is a never give up transit it's a transit that will fill you with motivation and enthusiasm but you also need to be careful about your ego you need to be careful about your relation with your supervisor and bosses. You need to be careful about your relationship uh, with someone in authority or government. People preparing for government related services, examinations will see great sign of success during this time. And people who are lacking motivation, who are lacking attention, who are having attention problems will see that the sun will help them by telling them what to do. Now, obviously, sun is going to highlight the, the information highlight the path walking or not 
will be your karma. The presence of the sun in Sagittarius will also be aspected by Jupiter from the fifth house. And this Jupiter uh, is crucial because this, the moment sun enters Purva Shada Nakshatra, it is right in the middle. Jupiter shifts the motion from retrograde to direct. And also Mars, which will be in Mula Nakshatra Gandanta, four days after Martian movement in Sagittarius, I repeat, four days after Mars movement in Sagittarius, while it is in Mula Gandanta, Jupiter aspects it from the zodiac sign of Mars. And Mars and Jupiter will have a Parivartana Yoga. It's a exchange, power of exchange. It's a lot of motivation, a lot of power for you. Especially for people who are Leo Ascendant, Aries Ascendant, Scorpio Ascendant, Sagittarius Ascendant, Pisces Ascendant. Because you are Sun, Mars or Jupiter ruled zodiacs. For people who are Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio and Leo, Moon sign, you will see that your mind will be full of energy. Now what you are going to do with that energy is your call. You should not waste it, you should not reduce it to anger, you should not uh, convert it into vengeance because that's a waste of energy. But if you want to do something creative, if you want to build an empire, if you want to grow, if you want to uh, create new milestones for yourself, if you want to beat your own target, this is the time. Yes, it's a time of heated uh, substances. It's not that everything will be smooth and everything is very polite. It is more aggressive, it is more rigorous. But this is the time when you have to face your fear and you will be facing the victory. Now, when Sun enters Sagittarius, the interaction of, of Saturn is very important. Why? See, for any planet, any planet, wherever they are, see what the third house from that planet is, how it is placed, how, where is the Lord placed, what is the strength, what is the Ashtakvark score, what is the Ashtakvark, Bhinn Ashtakvark score of that planet in the third house from itself? So for Saturn in, uh, Sun in Sagittarius, it will be Saturn in Aquarius. This Saturn in Aquarius is stable. This Saturn is aspecting the ninth house from Surya. That means the Sun will also utilize the power of Saturn, which is slow movement. So it's more diplomatic, it is more political in nature, forming new alliances ending wars, fighting for right causes, but more through diplomatic channels and communication rather than picking a weapon. So again, it's uh, for global and for in at an individual level, it's a very, very positive and a very good transit. Now, for people who have a negative sun in your birth chart, say you have sun in 6th, 8th or 12th house, uh, or if you are a Cancer Ascendant native, if you are a Taurus Ascendant native, right? Or if you are a Capricorn Ascendant native. For all of you, Sat Sun transit will be either in the 6th house, 8th house or 12th house. So in that case, you have to be careful about your own health, your own well-being, your overall success. And as I said, the entire theme remains the same. Pick a target, work on that target, work on yourself and keep moving with full motivation, you will find success. But for you, if you are if you are Taurus, if you are Cancer or if you are a Capricorn Ascendant or Moon sign, you need to be extra careful that you should not hurt someone with your ego. You should not become very aggressive. You cannot, you should not do something that is going to, you know, burn your energy or burn your ego. Ego based decisions are worst during this time. Also drink plenty of water, donate food, especially wheat related items and that will help you a lot chanting surya uh, doing surya namaskar and chanting aditya hrade stotra every day doing the sundarkant part because jupiter aspect on sun and mars is like ram blessing bhagwan shri ram blessing hanuman ji so if you chant sundarkant if you read ramayan if you do read hanuman chalisa during this time and if it is difficult just say ram ram just chant the name of Ram, 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 Ram. What it will do is it will create that vibration. Sun is energy, Mars is energy, Jupiter is wisdom. They are interacting with each other. Saturn is patience. It is in the right direction. Yes, Mercury will be retrograde 
in uh, in Sag in fact mercury is already retrograde in sagittarius it will come back to scorpio fall back to sagittarius mercury is about consciousness your consciousness is repeatedly trying to realign yourself so this is the time for realignment in your own life at your own level wherever you are stuck use this energy to come back to a to an equilibrium state because it is the time for soul realignment